<sighs> All right, back into the water for you. Ooh, that's got some serious acceleration. thing I noticed with this motor or this propeller is it's so smooth. Oh, I better not crash into anything. Anyway, I mean it like doesn't vibrate at all. Even in reverse full speed. I can't go in reverse full speed with any of the other propellers I've used. You know, bought or made. But this one, I don't know. It's just super smooth. I'm gonna see how fast it'll, it'll get me going. What I've been doing to test the speed is running both motors at the same time. Uh, one, I don't change the pro propeller on at all. I'm just changing the one propeller. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I make a propeller that gets up to the speed that I want and I'm just running that one propeller, that one motor, it might not have the, the strength it needs to get up to the speed. Uh, so I want to I wanna maximize the speed based on two motors. And since I'm not actually going to make two of every propeller every time, I'm just leaving the same one on one side. It's close enough. And then when I get when I find the best one, then I'll make two of that and put them both on. Man, that thing looks good. It looks like the coily propeller does pretty much the exact same speed as two of the original propellers uh, but I'm looking at my voltage meter on my batteries and it's higher than it normally is so I think it's doing the same speed on less power which is a significant improvement Duh, I need to I need to get like oh, I want to print like 20 different propellers and do all oh man at first I was thinking this propeller might not be that great, uh, but I don't know, it's looking kind of promising. I have to hook up my amp meter and see how much power it's actually using. But yeah, just, just on a preliminary test, it seems like it's a really good propeller. I mean, matching the speed of the store-bought one with less power drain. And it was just, I mean, I just took a guess on all the sizes and the angles of everything. I think it needs a higher pitch so you know it can use more power and go faster. I think I'll be able to go faster on it. Especially if I make it wider. Like if I print one in a couple parts because I can't print a bigger one on my 3D printer unless I print it in like two or three pieces. I need to make like a hub that accepts custom propeller blades. And then I can do all kinds of experiments more quickly without having to print a whole new hub every time. Now, I'm gonna go drive around. This is, this is great. I do have an amp meter in the boat that I think is like a 100 amp amp meter, which will totally be enough for this. I need to go hook that into the, the motor that I'm changing the propellers on, and then I can make a little graph of, or a chart of uh, the maximum speed and the, the current. Yeah, then I can compare the propellers more accurately. And I can tell if if something is not using much electricity, I know I can make the propeller bigger and get more speed out of it. Alright, I need to go get that thing. Once upon a time, someone sent me this amp meter uh, to use on my giant robot. And I never put it on the giant robot because I didn't need to know how much power it was using. But I'm so happy, whoever sent that to me, thank you so much. I would never be able to find one of those down here. And that's gonna be super useful. Oh, that's, oh, beautiful. All right, and so I can remember, what I started doing now is going one direction and then back the other direction and then averaging the speed. Uh, because, you know, currents in the water and wind will cancel out if I go one direction then back. Uh, the original propellers, two of these gave me five miles an hour, like exactly. The this thing gave me 5.4 with one of these 
and one of these. That was average 5.4 miles per hour. And then the, the screwy coil one that I just tested also gave me 5 miles per hour. Same as these ones. A lot of people have mentioned that uh, long ago people were using this screw coil kind of propellers more. And you know, why would they have abandoned them if they were better? Well, there's a lot of reasons people would stop doing something, not necessarily because it's better or worse. It could just be that it's harder to make those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not as good. Maybe it's better. Um, I can't really find any information anywhere because so many people are full of opinions and very little scientific data. So I'm just doing it myself. It's more fun that way anyway. Because I learn way more if I just do all the exper experiments myself. Plus, then you end up with all these cool custom propellers. And I, you know, I got a 3D printer to do stuff, not to sit around and, you know, print decorations. I haven't even sanded this thing much yet. I'm sure it'll get better performance once it's smoothed out some more.